Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and today I'm going to share with you a couple of memorable moments I had on Warships um, when I was on that little break of mine. The first one is me being an absolute potato. As you can tell by this point in the battle I still hadn't done much damage. I was super, super tunnel visioned on that New Mexico. Fire off my first two torpedo salvos and then I noticed the Emil Betan. Uh, Slam Dog, I am so sorry about this. I did not notice you at all on the first two launchers. And, um, yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. Sorry. Um, but, hey, at least the other torpedoes look good on that New Mexico. I mean, you know, I was just... I, I was just really trying to get anything to land in this battle, so a little bit of desperation. And um, it did make me pink. This actually made me pink for the first time in, I think, like a year and a half, two years? It's been a while since I've been pink. But hey, at least I did kill the New Mexico, right? Now, in the last video, which was about the Normandy, I did mention that I had a pretty interesting experience fighting one, and it happened to be in this particular battle, I was playing my Julio Chizade, and I happened to run into Normandy, who, the minute it basically came around and took a salvo from me, decided to get very, very angled. And I, well, decided it was an interesting way of dealing with him. First he came out a little bit, you know, just a little bit too much side showing. So I hit him for a good chunk of damage there, 16,000. He's able to hit me back for a little bit. Um, I was reasonably angled there. Oof, I think this one's going to hurt a little bit more. Ouch. Okay, but you can tell immediately that the Normandy over there decides to get very, very angled. And at that level of angling, not much a Julio is going to be able to do. And remember, Normandy is a pretty fast battleship as well. So, my immediate solution was, hmm, can't overmatch the Val, I think I'm going to go try the turrets. Because, remember, the Normandy has one quad turret in the front. If you take that turret out, or you disable it, and the Normandy can't use it, the Normandy pretty much has to go and show you that side, in order to use the other turrets. So, you'll see I aim a little bit higher, um, and go for the turret. And there you go, turret disabled. So, if the Normandy was reloading on that four turret, it's going to be another 30 seconds before that reload's going to come back. And guess what? I'm going to have him beat. <laughs> I'm going to beat him to that reload. Waiting, 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 waiting. Come on, six more seconds. I know he's not going to be able to get his guns reloaded as quickly. Come on there. There we go. Another salvo and... <laughs> incapacitated again. <laughs> so this poor Normandy really has no choice. Has to end up trying to show me a side to get the other gun turret out. Which, fortunately for me there, was loaded with high explosive. But yeah, see, this is what you do. If you run into battleships that are, you know, maybe really angled, and you have the option to go for the turrets, you might want to consider it. Now I've actually permanently knocked out that turret, so this poor Normandy no longer has a 4 turret at all. Has to go to the side. And of course the minute he does that, I'm going to punish him for as much HP as I can possibly take off. So you can tell, getting desperate, Normandy is kind of turning around more now, offering a little bit more of the side. That center turret, you know can still be a little bit dangerous, right? Because, you know, it, it's very easy for that turret to turn from one side of the ship to the other. And you can tell, Normandy's doing the best he can, right? Um, trying to get that center turret out, get angled again, but just 
no real chance, right? Once that four turret goes down, Normandy just has to show that little bit too much. And I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. Normandy does incapacitate one of my turrets. Not really as big of a deal as I do still have a damage control party ready. Um, Normandy is really low now. Uh, I'm gonna get my four turrets around and I'm gonna try to kill him through the superstructure area. Don't ask me where those shells went. <laughs> Rear guns are reloading and there you go. There's the kill. So if you're running into Bow on Battleship, aim for the gun turret sometimes if it's viable. One little tip for battleship players out there, if you know there's a destroyer lurking about near islands, don't go close to them. It is a very, very bad idea. And finally, some good moments with October Revolution on the Big Race map. Thank you.